Hello, tonight I will be performing a cognitive test on you. This test consists of about eight chapters, and in each chapter I will be asking you different questions or ask you to perform certain actions or describe something. Okay, so first of all, on the list is orientation. This is just a basic, simple questions. Second is short-term and long-term memory. I'm going to be asking you a little bit more questions, different questions. Then we have attention and concentration. And I'm going to be asking you to perform a certain action here. Then we have language skills. Fifth is visual and spatial constructional skills. Sixth is abstract thinking. Then we have executive functioning. And the last one is episodic memory. And I think we can start off with just simple exercises. Please raise your right hand. Mm -hmm. Please let, uh, raise your left hand. Good. Now, with the index finger of your right hand, please touch your nose. Mm -hmm. And do the same with your left hand and your left index finger. Perfect. Okay, so starting off on the first chapter, orientation. Um, do you know what today's date is? Is it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? Which day of the week is it? Mm-hmm. What month is it? Okay. What about the year? Do you know what year we have? Very good, okay. Now, can you tell me where you are in, you know, in a room? Is it a room? Is it a, a hospital? Is it a church? Where are you right now? Describe it briefly. Mm hmm Can you tell me what you see next to you or in front of you? In the space close to you, what do you see? What kind of uh, things do you see? Mm hmm Okay. Good. And this was the first chapter. Now we're gonna over we're gonna go over to the second chapter, short term and long term memory. Now I would like you to remember three words that I'm going to tell you. That is a house, dog, apple. And later in the test, I'm going to ask you to repeat those words to me, okay? All right. Now, can you tell me your name? Mm-hmm. Can you tell me the name of the president. Okay. What season do we have right now? Is it a spring? Is it summer? Is it fall? Or is it winter? Mm -hmm. Can you describe to me your typical day? You wake up and what do you do next? Mm -hmm. All right, then what? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. I think we have enough. Okay, heading over to the third chapter, and 
attention and concentration, I would like you to do something for me. I want you to count down from 100, mm -hmm, but, but subtracting 7 each time. So you're not going to count 199.98. No, I want you to count like this. 193.86. Mm -hmm. So you got to subtract 7. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Take your time. Okay, let's start. 100. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Okay, good. Very good. Okay. Now, another thing I would like you to do. Do you know how to spell the word car? Mm-hmm. Spell it backwards, please. Good. The same thing I want you to do with the word apple. Mm-hmm, good. What about tree? Mm-hmm, and lastly, I would like you to spell backwards the number three. You know, three. Spell it backwards, please. Good. I would like you to take a minute, literally, because you're going to have one minute to tell me as many words as you know that start with the letter B, okay? you got one minute. Go. As many words as you can think of. Letter B. Mm-hmm. finished here. 30 more seconds. Concentrate. Letter B. It can be anything you want, but it has to start with the letter B. Mm -hmm. Seven more seconds. Okay, we're done. Good. Now we're going to over to the next chapter, that is language skills. In this chapter, I would like you to describe to me what is this? Tell me what this is and describe it to me, what it does and how do you use it. Mm hmm Okay. Now, describe to me what is a car? You don't have to be specific. Just tell me the the basis of it, what do you do with it, mm -hmm. how is it built, but you don't have to get into specific, 
what does the car have that you can see right away and you can name it? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. That's good enough. Very good. Now, next exercise. I want you to repeat after me, okay? Mm -hmm. Orange is a very warm color. Mm -hmm. Good. Next one. Trees can grow anywhere. Mm hmm Okay. And the last one. A bird flies over my head. Very good. This is. This is a cube, okay? It is a cube. What color is this? Red, good. What color is this? Mm hmm. What color is this? Good. What color is this? Very good. What color is this? It's green, okay. And what color is this? Blue, very good. Now I'm going to show you a series of pictures. And I would like you to name what you see on those pictures, okay? Tell me what do you see? What is this? It's a dog, good. What is this? Bananas. Very good. What is this? It's a hammer. Okay. And what is this? Good. And what is this? Okay, it's a giraffe. Is it an object, or is it an animal, or is it a fruit? It is an animal, very good. Describe me this. What is this? And what do you do with it? Mm hmm Okay, good. What is this? And what do you do with it? Good, very good. Abstract thinking. I'm going to show you something. Something that I drew. This is a clock, right? I want you to take a look at it and tell me if I drew it correctly. Take a good look. fast about it. Take your time. See if everything is as it should be. So, is it correctly drawn? Good. That's a good answer. Now, down here, 
I drew a time. And I'm not, you know, not literally. I technically just drew what time it is. And I want you to tell me what time is it on this clock. Okay, good. What about the second one right here? What time is it? Mm hmm. And the third one? What time is it? Take a good look. Okay, good. Do you think you would be able to draw a clock correctly? Now, I would like you to close your eyes, focus, and tell me how many times did you hear my pen click, okay? Let's start. How many times did I click my pen? Okay. And you can open your eyes. Okay, we just did visual, spatial, and constructional skills. And now the next chapter is called abstract thinking. Now, I would like you to tell me What's something that an apple and a banana has in common? What, what sort of thing connects them? What is it? They're both fruits. Good. Now, tell me, what does book and a smartphone have in common? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. And what does a plane and a bus have in common? Okay, good. Okay, now could you tell me what does actions speak louder than words mean? Mm -hmm. What does it mean? Tell me. Okay. What does adding fuel to the fire mean? Mm -hmm. Good. And what does all bark, no bite mean? Figuratively, of course. Very good. Now moving on to the seventh chapter of this test, we have executive functioning. Now, I would like you to make a plan for tomorrow. Starting when you wake up, plan your day for me, okay? What would you do tomorrow? What you have to do? Please plan your day since the moment you wake up. Briefly, it doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to be like very specific. Mm -hmm. Good, keep going. Okay, that's enough. Now, if I were to ask you to make a cup of tea, what steps would you take 
to make a cup of tea from the beginning to the end. Now be specific, as specific as you can be. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Okay, and we have the last chapter, and it's called Episodic Memory. Here, I would like you to describe to me something that happened yesterday to you. Mm -hmm. Yes, be as specific as you can. Something that happened to you yesterday. Okay. Mm hmm I understand. Okay. And lastly, I would like you to think about vacations. Go back as, as far as you can and describe to me as detailed as it can be. Describe to me the first vacations that you remember what you were doing, when was it, who you were with. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Mm -hmm. Reach, reach deep down into your brain. I know this isn't easy. Okay. All right. That would be enough. Now, at the beginning of this test, I ask you to remember three certain words. Do you remember what those words were? Mm -hmm. Well, those words were house, dog, apple. Okay, this concludes this cognitive test. Thank you so much for participating. Um, you have nothing to worry about. If I could recommend something... I would recommend spending more time playing games that require thinking. That's why playing games like chess or having to memorize different objects on the screen hidden under something that's very like, this is very good for the brain. You should be working on your brain all the time. And we don't feel it yet because we're still young, but if we won't be working on it in the future, it will show. Definitely it will show. So, once again, thank you so much for participating. And I wish you a very good night. Take care now. Bye-bye.